Okay, so signing up is pretty simple. We're gonna put on our email. They're gonna send us a confirmation link to activate it. And then once we activate it, um, we just put in our basic information. Then it gives you the opportunity to invite people. Uh, you can do this or you can skip this step uh, and just invite them directly to a meeting. Now you're gonna enter in the account information that you just created. So now you have an account, you can set up a meeting, you can schedule one in advance, you can get one going and invite people into it. So let's just walk through scheduling a meeting. Uh, you'll give it a name, you can give it a description if you wanna let people know uh, if there's a particular topic. And then you'll schedule for a date and time. And it'll ask you for a duration. If you can see here, the free plan limits meetings of three or more to 40 minutes. I think the first time it lets you go long, but eventually it will either want you to keep it under 40 minutes or pay or um, keep it to smaller groups. Make sure you're in the right time zone. If this was gonna be a recurring meeting, you could set that up there. And the rest of the settings uh, probably can stay as is for the purposes of uh, what you guys are going to be using this for. So um, the meeting ID can be generated automatically. You probably won't need a password. You can leave the video and audio settings as they are. So unless you know uh, you want something specifically to be different, you can just save the rest of it as is. So you can do a few things here, like add it to your calendar, um, but the main thing that you need off this page is the join URL. This is the link that you're gonna send people to uh, join the meeting. So that's what you're gonna wanna copy and paste. You can send it in an email, and Zoom will even uh, draft basically an email message for you to send. So if you go to copy the invitation, uh, it'll bring up something like this. All you have to do is hit copy meeting invitation right there. And then when you go into your email, you open a new message, paste that right into the body, and then you can add your own words if you want. I've been just emphasizing to people that that link under join Zoom meeting is what they're gonna wanna click when the time comes. So let's say we're ready to start the meeting. Um, Zoom is something that you have to download. It's an external application. It's not just on the internet. So you would download that onto your computer. But not everyone needs a Zoom account to be a part of a call. You need to download it and someone needs an account to be the host. But otherwise you can just accept the invitation without actually having to create an account. So the first thing you're going to see when you start the meeting, this box asking about audio. Uh, Join with computer audio is basically what's going to apply for a video conference. You could theoretically also call in on your phone, but if the aim is to have a video conference, then you're going to want to join with computer audio. And there's also an option there to test your microphone and sound, which is a great thing to do if you've never done this before. Um, before the meeting starts, you can go in and make sure that your sound is working. So we don't have anybody in here yet, but um, just take a look at the some of the boxes below to get familiar. So on the left hand side you have audio and video. So there's some audio settings there. If you're having trouble that would be a place to look and see uh, where your audio is coming from. And you can mute which is helpful if you are in an area with a lot of background noise. Um, and then you can toggle your video on and off as well. So if anybody's having trouble with their sound or video you can look there and see um, is it on. So theoretically, we've already invited people, but let's say we wanted to um, ask people to join while the meeting is already underway. You can go to invite. So you can copy the URL or the invitation in the left-hand corner there, or you can click on one of the email icons and it will open up your email. I just chose default and then opened up my mail app. I'm gonna invite uh, people to the meeting in progress. So they would just click that link and open up to the meeting that's already underway. So receiving an invite, it's really simple. Again, you just wanna pay attention to that meeting URL and click that link, download and run Zoom, and then you're in. So I am on my laptop, Jake and Malia are on their phones, so you can uh, Zoom from your phone. So if you look in the top right hand corner where it says gallery view, there you can choose different sort of ways of presenting. The video chat so right now we have it in speaker mode where whoever is speaking becomes the the largest 
uh, portion of the screen, but gallery mode is more like a Brady Bunch style set of cubes. Um, so you can pick how you want to present it. And then we talked about the mute button in the left hand corner of the screen. Also, if you move your mouse over your face, you'll so see a mute and unmute capacity. So if you're in an area with background noise or you don't have great sound quality and you want to mute while you're not speaking, that's a good way of just reducing um, extra noise. And then you can just unmute as needed. And this participants button at the bottom will bring up this right hand side column where you can see everyone who's in on the chat and if their microphones and video are on. There's also a chat feature, so you can uh, write anything via text into a chat that the group will see, uh, also on the right-hand column. So that's just a brief look at getting started on Zoom. There are more in-depth training videos on the Zoom website, so if you visit there, you can uh, hopefully get more troubleshooting tips. So hope this helps you guys connect with your community, friends, and family, and check out our website heritagesc.org for more resources.